Welcome to St. Michael's Hospital Medical Daycare Unit. Lots of patients with many different types of cancer come to the medical daycare unit. We provide a variety of treatments and patients receive treatment in different ways. Some take a pill, some get a needle, and others are hooked up to an IV. This video will tell you what to expect on your first day of treatment, who you will meet, and what you should bring. We know the first day of chemotherapy can be scary for some patients. We hope this video will help lessen some of those fears. Your first day may feel very long. It could take a few hours to a full day. There are a lot of steps in the process and you will have to wait between some of them. If you can, bring along someone who can support you. You'll be given a lot of new information. Your support person can write things down, ask questions, and help you remember what you have been told. They can also help you pass the time while you are waiting. Your treatment may include some medicines that will make you feel sleepy. For your safety, please make sure you have a safe ride home. Before your appointment, arrange for a friend or family member to drive you home. You can also call a taxi. Now let's talk about what you can expect on your first visit. When you get to the clinic, please check in at the registration desk. You will need to show the staff your health card. Once you register, a clerk or volunteer will take you to a computer and show you how to fill out a form that tells us how you are feeling. The form is called ESAS, which is short for Edmonton Symptom Assessment Scale. Every time you come to an appointment, you should fill out the ESAS. It helps us understand and treat your symptoms. You will also see a technician who will take some blood. We need to test your blood to make sure that your immune system is strong enough for chemotherapy treatment. You may not have to have your blood tested on every visit, but some people do have to have a blood test every time they come to the clinic. It takes at least one hour to get the results from your blood test, so be prepared for the wait. We suggest you bring something to keep you entertained. Some people bring a book or magazine. We have free Wi-Fi so you could bring your phone, tablet, or computer. You will also meet with a nurse who will take your blood pressure, pulse, and temperature. They will ask how you have been feeling. They want to find out how you have been doing at home and if you have had any symptoms. Here, the nurse will look at your ESAS answers. When your blood tests are back from the lab, you will see the doctor or nurse practitioner who will go over your blood results with you. They will ask how you are doing and talk to you about your treatment plan. The doctor will ask to see a list of your medications and vitamins. The doctor will order your chemotherapy treatment to be made. It will take about an hour for the chemotherapy to be ready. You may also be given a prescription for pills that you need to take before chemotherapy. While your chemotherapy medication is being made and delivered to medical daycare, you may want to get your prescription filled. For your convenience, there is a pharmacy on the ground floor of St. Michael's Hospital. If you have private insurance, please bring in a copy of your insurance information. Your treatment will start once we have all the medications you need. The nurse will call you and take you to a chair for IV chemotherapy. If your treatment needs to be injected into your veins, the nurse will put an IV line into your arm. The nurse will also tell you if you have to take any pills prior to your chemotherapy treatment at this time. Once you are sitting in the chair, different healthcare team members will come to see you. You may meet the dietitian, social worker, and pharmacist. They will help guide and support you throughout your cancer journey. Remember that the day will feel very long. We offer sandwiches and juice, but feel free to bring your own snacks or drinks as well. When your treatment is finished, the nurse will take out your IV line. The nurse will also remind you to go to registration to find out when your next appointment will be. The clerical staff will give you a paper showing the date and time of your next appointment. Just a reminder, please remember to bring your health card, a list of medications and vitamins that you are taking, private insurance information, something to help you pass the time, for example, a book or electronic device, a pen or paper, and a snack. We hope this video has given you a better idea of what your first day at the medical daycare unit will be like. If you have any questions, please ask when you come to your appointment. Thank you for taking the time to watch.